Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this course on sports training, recovery, and load monitoring. Today, I will be taking you through week eight of this course, wherein we will be discussing technology in sports training, future trends and innovations in sports training, all in the background of technology and technological advances. We'll be talking about technology in performance analysis today, and I'm Colonel Dr. Anup Krishnan, and I'll be your instructor for this week. I'll be discussing this lecture under the following outline. There'll be an introduction. We'll try and define certain terms and uh, conditions. We will talk about the benefits for athletes and coaches. We will talk about the role of performance analysis and the role of the performance analysis team. We will talk about the various modalities for performance analysis using technology. And as usual, we will conclude with a take home message. Joe Friel in the Triathletes Training Bible has very aptly said, testing is of no value unless the information gained is used to improve your training or confirm your training in an appropriate manner. Let's try and define performance analysis. Performance analysis is a specialist discipline involving systematic observations to enhance performance and improve the decision making, primarily delivered through the provision of objective statistical data analysis and visual feedback by video analysis. It provides athletes and coaches with objective information and helps them to understand performance. It is underpinned by systematic observation, which provides valid, reliable, and detailed information relating to performance. Performance analysis can help to enhance the coaching process by providing visual feedback and objective statistical analysis. What we are trying to say is you are going to observe the athlete, you are going to measure the athlete's performance using objective tests and machinery and you are going to give that feedback to the coach and to the athlete so that he or she and the team can improve the athlete's performance using this objective and measured data. Performance analysis as related to sport can be defined as the analysis of data or information to help in the acceleration of athlete performance. The identification of performance indicators, methods for collection of data and information analysis methods are all key factors to a successful performance analysis. What we mean to say is, what test to use, what parameter to be tested, what are the equipment to be used, what are the protocol to be used, and how do you analyze all the information which you get from your tests. These are all the key factors in a successful performance analysis. Because there is objective information being measured, there is evidence-based decisions and decisions based on speculation are reduced. When you give feedback to the athletes using evidence, it helps them to understand exactly what they have done and what they should be doing to be successful and what they should not be doing so that they are unsuccessful. It helps coaches and athletes make the right decisions at the right time and deliver consistent performances. 
there are certain benefits for athletes improved technical and tactical knowledge improved decision making improved confidence some benefits for coaches it assists in understanding the athlete's strengths and weaknesses it enhances the own development and coaching practice and it enables an in-depth review of performance so there what is the role of performance analysis in elite sport performance analysis is driven by a sports need to understand and improve tactics to improve technique and movement achieved through the delivery of real and lapsed time objective feedback it focuses on enhancing interventions within the coaching process to elicit a performance gain and augment learning essentially informs the athlete and coaches about what actually happened as opposed to what they think or what they perceive to be happening modeling and measuring the actual demands of what it takes to win quantifying what the best in the world look like where the performers are and then providing the evidential road map to improve and ultimately for sporting success this is the first role of the performance analysis team you basically try to develop tests and protocols to address the demands of the sport you quantify it against what the best in the world are basically you test your map or map your protocols against the world's best and then you provide proper evidence based road map to the athlete for improvement the second role is to support the training environment how to approach a game how to approach this round how to approach this bout all this is to be done by the performance analysis team they are also supposed to support the team selection process with objective data capture code analyze and feedback these are the four words for the performance analysis team they are supposed to use this during competition by the analyst which is to be delivered in real time and you are supposed to use this real time data to deliver or provide a performance advantage to your competition performing a detailed post event analysis to support the debrief process with the objective story of what actually happened this is the important role of the performance analysis team after the event is over they have to perform a proper debrief and measure and report what actually happened data collection information can be collected by different technologies most common is video and it is used to collect data on athletes during training and during competition the commonly used equipment is the camcorder and high def video is the current standard which is used video can be used in two dimension and video can be used in three dimension also video analysis video footage can be downloaded to a computer for better viewing and analysis there are several computer software which is available for analysis of sports movements like dartfish kinovia etc they can be used to view the video and to perform analysis of the video they can also be used to compare the video with another video which has been shot earlier video provides information related to the movement of the athlete however video does not provide information on the forces exerted on or by the athlete for that you need three dimensional labs and force platforms with technologies such as force sensors pressure sensors and muscular measurement devices which can measure the forces that are produced and which act on the athlete these labs are used for 
the study of sports motion, technique correction, analysis of anatomical defects causing repeated injuries, gait and running analysis, skill analysis, exercise prescriptions and prescription of orthotics. Technology can also be used to help athletes improve their technique. Motion analysis software can be used to identify potential issues with an athlete's form and provide recommendations for improvement. Video analysis tools are definitely used to review an athlete's technique and identify an area of improvement. These video analysis tools may be 2D video or 3D motion analysis. Nowadays, we are increasingly using velocity-based training devices which help the coaches identify where the athletes are deficient and help them to improve their technique. There are certain newer technologies which have been used to measure athlete performance. They are accelerometers, timing lights, radar guns, global positioning systems. The accelerometer, timing lights, radar guns or GPS can measure acceleration or velocity. However, GPS can also measure the distance and the route covered by the athlete. These can be used to collect immediate and accurate information relating to how an athlete is performing. We use technology a lot in the laboratory of the sports sciences centers. We do VO2 max analysis using technology. We do lactate threshold analysis. We do something called Wingate test for lower body explosive power. We do something called Astran test, which is a submaximal test for testing VO2 max. And we also do body composition analysis. All these are used by, by the sports scientists to objectively quantify and measure performance. Data driven training. When you use technology in sports, it helps to collect and analyze data. There are several tools such as fitness trackers, heart rate monitors, which help athletes to track various aspects of their training, including heart rate, calories burned, sleep patterns, heart rate variability, etc. etc. Coaches and athletes can tailor their training to meet their specific needs and can make necessary adjustments to optimize their areas of weakness and work on improving those areas. Injury prevention. It's another significant benefit of using technology for athletic performance. With the help of tools such as motion analysis software, coaches and trainers can identify potential issues with an athlete's form and technique very, very early so that it can be corrected. By making adjustments and addressing these issues early on, athletes can reduce their risk of injury and improve their overall performance. Technology can also be used to monitor an athlete's workload and to make necessary adjustments to prevent overuse injuries so that the athlete is picked up during the period of overreaching and he is not allowed to reach the period of overtraining syndrome. Mental preparation. Technology can also be used to help athletes prepare mentally for competitions. Virtual reality technology can be used to simulate competition scenarios and help athletes visualize and mentally prepare for these situations. VR technology can be used by the athlete in their own rooms also. They do not need to come to a dedicated lab for all this. By reducing anxiety, and improving mental preparedness. Athletes can perform at their best when it matters the most. We can do psychological evaluation using technology. The most common system is called a VNR testing system and we can do IQ, EQ testing. We can test for attention and focus. We can test for illusions and feelings analysis. We can test for motivation. We can look at hand-eye coordination, we can look at time anticipation, and we can look at reaction time. As you may understand, these parameters are important for several sports, especially for combat sports and precision sports 
such as archery and shooting. Virtual reality simulations may also be used as an analysis as well as a training tool for the athlete. Nutritional analysis is usually done by using bioelectric impedance or board pod. The advantage is these techniques are non-invasive. They give you an, a report about the body fat and the fat-free mass. And this is used for monitoring and intervention in sports nutrition. Basically, this parameter can be checked and used for understanding how training and nutrition is affecting the athlete. Recovery. Athletes need to recover properly after training and competitions to, so that they can perform at their best in the next training session or the next competition. Technology can be used to monitor an athlete's recovery and make the necessary adjustments in their training and nutrition so that recovery can be optimized. There are several tools such as cryotherapy chambers, compression boots, which can be used to speed up recovery and reduce inflammation. We can also maintain historical data via technology, which can help the coaches understand if their athletes are underperforming or overperforming. It helps the coaches to modify the training sessions and to tailor programs based upon athlete performance. We can use readiness assessments using force plates, velocity-based training devices. We can test the grip strength or the jump height. And we can use all this data to help the coach understand the ability of the athlete. Collaboration. Technology can also facilitate collaboration between coaches, trainers and the athletes and also the sports sciences team working behind the scenes. Using cloud-based software, coaches and athletes and trainers can share training programs, workout data, and other information with the athlete. And they don't have to wait for the athlete to feed in the data. All the sensors and heart rate monitors and smart watches with the athlete is using, all the data will be uh, fed into the app and it will be stored on the cloud which the coach can access from the same location or from anywhere else in the world. This ensures that everyone is on the same page and working towards the same goals. Historic data and data sharing is especially important when dealing with return to play or injuries because you do not, if the athlete has come to you for the first time, you do not know what was the pre-injury status of the athlete and here his pre-injury analysis and pre-injury tests will come in handy. Technology enables cross-functionality across departments because information is not uh, discipline specific and it is not stored in silos. So, the use of technology has become increasingly important for athletic performance from weight room work to the field of play. It can help athletes collect and analyze data, prevent injuries, improve mental preparation, optimize recovery, improve technique and facilitates collaboration amongst all members of the sports sciences team. With the help of technology, athletes can reach their full potential and perform at their best when it matters most. These are the references which I have used to prepare this lecture, ladies and gentlemen. I strongly urge you to go through them so that you understand this topic and this subject better. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time and patience. Do let us know if you have any comments or questions and you can send them to the email which is flashing on the screen. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and Jai Hind.